Isn't it fascinating how sometimes we seemingly give other people so much power that they can do something so small, so trivial that completely ruins our day? Maybe if someone cut us off on the freeway on our way to work, or maybe we got a crappy text message or an email and it could just completely ruin our day. But with that same logic, isn't it safe to say that we have the same power to make someone's day? What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about helping you improve your mental and emotional well-being. And something I like to do is take things going on in the YouTube community and pop culture and try to teach you how to improve your mental health. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring the notification bell, especially because I've been doing mental health reviews of all of the Shane Dawson episodes. So anyways, funny story. This morning I wake up and I don't always get notifications about comments because there's a ton of them, but it does give me notifications when like a YouTuber comments. And I saw that Shane Dawson actually commented on one of my videos. And I've been like talking to my girlfriend and I, I just like kind of jokingly say, I'm like, you think Shane's seen one of my videos? Let's just pretend he's seen one of my videos. But yes, he actually saw one of my videos and left a comment. So I think it's safe to say that me and Shane Dawson are pretty much best friends now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not crazy. Or am I? No, that's what, no, we can't do that. <laughs> no, that would actually be wrong. We literally can't do that. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I'm really, really glad that Shane Dawson saw this particular video. So this video was about when Shane tweeted out that he was leaving after a lot of the negative reviews about his uh, The Mind of Jake Paul series, uh, specifically after the, the family of Jake Paul and after the dark side of Jake Paul. And basically, just a quick recap, and you can go check this video out, it'll be linked up in the info card. This video was about how we cling to negative thoughts and what we have to do to get out of that. And I gave some tips and some suggestions for it. So Shane actually saw this video and I'm so happy because so many people in the comments were like, yo, Shane needs to see this video. And he did. So he left this comment. Thank you for this, man. Made my night. Love your videos. Oh, oh, that feeling. That feeling is so great, Shane. I appreciate it so much that you saw my video and took the time to comment. The next step that me and you need to take is I need you to tweet one of my videos out and hook a brother up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Or am I? No, but uh, seriously, the, the focus of this video, I want to talk about kindness. Like, I know I talk a lot about mental health and emotional well-being, and like, I have a lot of people who ask me like how to be a better person, how to forgive yourself, and all sorts of other things. And so much of it just comes from being kind, being nice, doing things for others, not expecting anything in return. Like I am a recovering drug addict and alcoholic, and I hurt a lot of people, and my brain likes to tell me that I'm an awful person. So the, the way I counteract that is just by spewing kindness out into this world. And the smallest, smallest little acts you never know whose day you're gonna make. Like what breaks my heart now that I'm, you know, I don't even consider myself a YouTuber because I don't do this full time yet, but what breaks my heart is seeing how many YouTubers out there like forget where they came from. They just completely forget where they came from. And I really started to notice this um, because I don't follow too many huge YouTubers, now I'm starting to, but once I got kind of uh, interested in all the beauty guru drama that happened a month or two ago, like I just saw how many of these gigantic YouTubers forgot where they came from and forgot like their struggle and the hustle and how these small things meant so much to them. You know what I mean? And there's this disconnect, like there's sometimes conversations that people have about like, do we dehumanize YouTubers? But at the same time, I often wonder like, do YouTubers dehumanize their audience? You know what I mean? Like, do they just see their audience as numbers and not as people, right? Whether that's subscribers or likes or follows or shares or uh, dollar signs, whatever it is. That's where I feel that this disconnect is. So something that I, I strive for, and it's something that I've strived for for the last six years, is to never, 
ever, ever forget where I came from. So one of my favorite people on earth, and I'm gonna make a video because I might actually get to meet him next week, is Gary Vaynerchuk. He has a YouTube channel, Gary V, social media all over the place. The dude's awesome. And he does daily videos. And like, I often say that I, I listen to Gary V as like a way to refill my motivational fuel tank. Like, a, like he, he just seems to get it, I, you know what I mean? And like, he, he, he inspires me to hustle harder, get rid of my excuses, be nice, be kind, and all of that. But there's a story that he shares, and I forgot who the baseball player was, but he was a kid, and Gary Vee is a huge sports fan. I'm not, so that's where me and Gary Vee are different. But anyways, he's a huge sports fan, and he remembers he was a kid, and he was at a baseball game, and one of his favorite baseball players was walking off the field, and he looks up into the stands, right? Thousands of people, but, this baseball player looked up in the stands in Gary Vee's general direction when he was a kid and the baseball player winked at him, right? And like Gary knows, Gary knows that there's like a very small chance that this guy was actually winking at Gary Vee, but like that's a story he remembers for the rest of his life and he felt connected to this, uh, this sports icon that he loved, right? And and what, what the point of that story is, is like the smallest things can completely change somebody's life or they can stick with somebody forever. I can't tell you how many people have inspired me and helped me keep going and I don't even remember who they were or what their name was. Like I just heard them say something that just really stuck with me, right? So who am I not to share that same gift with other people? Like something that I love, something I absolutely love. Well, two things that I love, the first one's funny. Uh, one thing that I love, I love that now I'm at a place where like I post videos and some of you like go in there in the comments and you're like, first, I love that for some reason. Like, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm finally making it. But the other thing that I love, I love like going through the comments and replying to all of you, at, well, as many of you as I can. Uh, like I usually spend an hour or two a day just going through the comments and trying to reply and have conversations. But I love it when, when you guys are like, oh my God, you actually replied, like, yeah, like, I, I want to reply, like, you guys are like my lifeblood. This is how I'm able to do what I do. Like, when I started this channel, I didn't think anything was gonna happen with it. I thought I was gonna get like 100 subscribers. Nobody cares about mental health. I'm not gonna be able to help anybody because that's all I wanna do. The only reason I care about subscriber numbers and views is because I just wanna give a message to, of hope to as many people as possible. But. I need people to give that message to. So the fact that you guys are finding my videos, watching them, subscribing, and liking them, I'm like, heck yeah, I'm gonna reply as much as possible. And that's something that Gary V taught me. Like, I see other YouTubers who like, you know, they're they're trying to build up their channel and you know, they're, they sometimes YouTubers reach out to me for advice and they're like, how do you do this? How do you, and all this other stuff. I'm like, I'm like, well, like you have a channel with like, 300 subscribers or a thousand subscribers i'm like and you're not even replying to your comments like what are you what are you doing like i really when i started the the rewired soul i wanted this to be a community right i want this to be a place for support i can't tell you how much i love seeing down in the comments like when I, when I give you like a question of the day and I ask you to share some of your experience and I see you guys like commenting down below, then I see other people replying to your comments and saying, yo, this really helped me out or hey, I can relate to this and maybe this will help you out. Like I absolutely love that stuff. So this is a message, uh, before I move on to this next part, this is a message to all the YouTubers out there. Like engage with your audience. Talk to them, like their tweets, like their comments, reply to them when you can. So many of us just waste time like not doing anything. Like I spend so much time just trying to build relationships with all of you and I really think like we as YouTubers need to do that more. But a lot of you watching this, you're not YouTubers, right? So I just want to leave you with this and the moral of this story, the moral of this video, like be kind. There's so many things that each one of us can do on a daily basis that just makes somebody's day. Like the next time you're like at the grocery store or like the gas station, like compliment the person behind the counter. You like their hair, you like their nails, you like their shirt or whatever it is. Like I've taught my son that. Like my son, <laughs> my son like compliments people on like the cool shirts they have. If they have like a Marvel shirt or like a cartoon that he's into, or whatever. It's like, hey, I like your shirt, right? And one time in the car, my son was like, He's like, daddy, he's like, do you think it's weird when I tell people like, I like their shirt? I'm like, no, I'm like, if they think that's weird, 
they're weird, right? Like, give people compliments. You never know whose day you're gonna make. Like, just imagine just somebody having an awful day and you're just, in passing, you give them a compliment. And like, I know this is all like tra-la-la, hippy-dippy stuff, but how much nicer would this world be if each one of us just made it a priority to give one person a compliment a day? Here, I'll challenge you all right now. Go on your phone right now and just text somebody and just say something nice, like, thanks for being my friend. Right? Thanks for coming over. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for being my mom. Thanks for being my dad. Like, just send a thank you to somebody. Like, you never know how that can make somebody's day. I talked the other day in the video that Shane actually watched about, you know, thank you letters that the kids wrote me from the high school I spoke at about life lessons and mental health and stuff. And those thank you letters, and some of them subscribe to me on YouTube and reach out to me. Like, I love that stuff so much. And all of your comments, I love that. So, like, I don't want to be selfish. Like, if you got to take a compliment away from me, and use that energy to give it to somebody else in the world, please do, all right? So let's spread some love, let's spread some kindness. I guarantee, I guarantee, if you are somebody who struggles with negative self-talk and self-criticism and all that stuff, it will start to balance the scales the nicer you are to the rest of the world, I promise you, all right? So I wanna hear from all of you down in the comments below. Like, what is, what is, let's do this, What's the last compliment that you got that just made your day or the last situation that just made your day? Something very, maybe just very small and trivial might seem stupid to somebody else. What happened that made your day? I can't wait to see what you guys say down in the comments below. But anyways, thanks again, Mr. Shane Dawson, for taking the time out to watch my video. I love it, I love it, I love it. And I can't wait for the series to start back up next week. <sighs> It's too long, too long. But anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, again, I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental and emotional well-being. Make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You're all amazing. And we got some new names up there. So if you would like to be a Patreon supporter, just go ahead and click or tap on that icon right there. All right, thanks again so, so much for watching. Spread some kindness today, and I'll see you next time.